What's up everybody, Dr. Craig Ingstrom here, but you can just call me Craig. Probably one of the reasons you like Canva so much is because when you go to create a design, it gives you all of the social post options that you might want. For example, Instagram post 1080 by 1080p, you don't have to think about anything. Of course, let's say for example that you want to create a LinkedIn article post and you find out that, whoops, they don't have the article post dimension size. So what to do? The thing is you could select one of these, but it's not going to be exactly the right size that you want. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually create a custom size that will fit, for example, a LinkedIn article, but other types of assets on different types of websites. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is always identify whether there is information provided by the website to tell you what size you need to be. And in this case, you can see that LinkedIn is recommending a 744 by 400 pixels image size for articles. Now, this seems kind of small to me, but do keep in mind that it's going to be rendering on a variety of different types of devices, including mobile. So as you can see here, 744 by 400. You jump back over to Canva, click Create Design, go to Custom Image, and then type in 744 by 400. And once you do that, click Create Design, and this will create the size of design that you need for a LinkedIn article. But what to do if that information is not provided? So for example, I was recently trying to create a tipping banner in the Brave Creators site, and obviously Canva does not have that size. They didn't have any literature on it. So here's the workaround. What you're going to do is go to the image, and if you're using Chromium browser, which this Brave is built on, I'm gonna to go to Inspect Element, and you will see it's going to open up this code and then I can hover over it and it's going to tell me 1300 by 234 and that's the size that I'm going to use. So for example, if I head over to that, you will see that if I go to resize, the current image is 1300 by 234. So that's how I figured out what size to create. So let's say that you have to write a blog article and you're doing it on a site like WordPress, which this culprit is published on, and I write some articles from time to time for it. And you will see that the image sizes are actually quite different. Now, one thing the creator here could do, Ron Culp, is to standardize and tell people what size that they need to supply it in, because what's happening here is it renders at all different sizes. If you go to a website though, for example, like this one, and I actually go to inspect element, you're going to see when I hover over this item that it says that it says do not resize. Now, what this means is that this website, regardless of the image size, that I send them is going to force it into this box. Now, if you send an image that is too small, it's going to crop up and it's going to be pixelated. If it's too big, it's gonna crop in and it might not look very nice. Now, of course, I'm using right-click because I'm in a Chromium-based browser, but you might be using a browser that is not Chromium-based, so I'm going to link to this article in the description so that you can find your specific browser so that you can learn how to inspect the website elements. Okay, so just to recap, what you're going to do is go to create a design, you're going to go to custom size, and to determine what size that should be, you will head over to the site where an image is placed, you're going to right-click on it, inspect that element, and you're going to look at what it tells you to do there, 1300 by 234. If you have a different browser, again, link in the description to an article that'll explain how to get into this inspect elements in the browser type that you're using. If you found this video helpful, I do hope that you will like, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you watching a future video. Until then, I hope that you have a wonderful day.